Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. What's this? What's this? <laughs> a list that's in my fist. What's this? What's this? It's something that I'll kiss. Mwah! Mwah! I want to share it with the world. I want to tell the people. The... What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what? Frankie goes. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're about to start recording. Frankie goes, um, okay, I got something for the beginning. <laughs> Like what? And he goes, just show it, just go. <laughs> he does that. That's what I had. I was my my own version of Jack Skellington. Oh, that's a thing. That's you've seen Nightmare Before Christmas, brother. Yeah, when I was eight. What's this? What's? Watch it again. It's good. Do yourself a Fabies. Watch it again. <laughs> Fabies. Yeah, Fabies. Listen, words. Oh, Fabies. Words are. Twenty twenty four is the year of making your own versions of words. Um, I think the last you know, ten years of our lives we've been doing that. Yeah. So, so but um, watch it. Cause it's good, it's good. But what's this, huh, guys? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna fight your tongue off. You ever, you, you ever go like this? Like make your tongue pointy. <clears throat> you're just still fat, though. Well, you have a skinny little tongue, like your skinny little cock. Okay. <laughs> First of all, I do not have a skinny little cock. Let's, let's get that out of the way, all right? <laughs> I don't know where that energy came from, but it came. It, <laughs> It came. Yay. It came just the same. <laughs> Guys, listen, we're going on tour. We actually have the dates today. Finally! And you know what's funny? You know what's really funny? Is that Greg printed this up with like, yeah. we need to read this. Like this words. Way. First of all, there's words that are italicized. Yeah, this guy. <laughs> like, chill out, He dude. went through. And, the, and, and bolded. Uh, yeah, there's bolded. Wow. Italicized. There's full on colons on this. There's, I mean. Asterisks. Colon and asterisk. Those are butt. It sounds like oh, butts. Oh, like butt stuff. Yeah. No, there's no... I mean, maybe there's like hidden meanings on it. Maybe like Greg like hit a message on this. Is it like one of the... <laughs> Lemon juice? Yeah, with like piss. <laughs> it's a clue. <laughs> piss? Yeah. You, 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 you don't... You, first of all, it's not piss. No, there's... I think you can make like hidden like invisible ink with P. With PP. Wait, you... Uh, hold on. I've never tried it. You piss on something and then I, a map is revealed? No, you idiot. Oh, oh I'm the fucking idiot now. <laughs> like, you could put, like, if you happen to, like, pee in a cup, you can, like, use, like, a, an inkwell and, like, write in piss, and it'll evaporate as piss, and then if you use heat, it might light up. Or, like, a, it might. You see, at the I've end never, of that, I've not, I have not experienced or experimented with piss on paper. What about... <laughs> Forget like me. a blue, black, what's it? Blue, blue black, 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 black light? Blue, black. Yeah, it's a yeah, black light. I think blue, black. Anyway. We got it. You guys want to know? Uh, nah, we'll next talk to you. All right, later, bitch. All right, no, seriously, but hold on. We'll get right, back all right. there. No, all right, so first of all, pre-sale. <laughs> <laughs> no, all right. We'll get it. I could do that for an hour, and I don't I know. think that we should. <laughs> and I don't think, yeah, I think people, I think at this point, people are a little like, what the fuck? Yeah, hurry up. So, like, we're it. sitting here, and we're, like, fucking, like, edging them a little bit. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You want to know it? We're just, like, I'm rubbing it and then you. running away. I'm going to fucking put a tourniquet over your dickhead, so it. I think you're supposed to do that at the base. <laughs> I mean, not either way. You can't do it at the penis head. Why not? Because the, uh, what's it? Oh, no, it's supposed to hold the blood. You can't hold all the blood in your tip. Explode the tip. Well, first of all, what kind of tip you working with there, cowboy? <laughs> no, it's just a tip. I'm just saying, like, it's to prevent the, 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 the jump, you know? No, it's not to stop you from... Is it stop you to coming? I mean, that's what I'm, that's what I was joking about, is, like, edging a little bit. Oh. It's just like, you want it? You want it? You want No. Pull it back. <laughs> you want it? You want it? No. You just pull it back um, a little bit. All right, listen, guys. Do we do dates first, or do we do the pre-sale stuff? We're going to do everything at the same time. Okay, all right, all right. But guys, listen. Most important thing for you to know right now is that tickets go on sale tomorrow. tomorrow Pre-sale is tomorrow. As of recording, it's not tomorrow. But right. as of you're seeing this, it is tomorrow. Good job. Confuse them, idiots. <laughs> April 2nd. Okay? <laughs> April 2nd. What time April 2nd? Not on here, Greg. Today is April 1st. You're fucked. This is not... By the way, not an April Fool's joke. It says joke. April 2nd, This you is dumbass. not an April Fool's joke. We want to make this very clear. It says April 2nd. L listen to what I'm saying. I don't there want to. There is no time. April uh, 2nd at 12 Eastern. April 2nd at 8 a.m. Eastern. It's fair. I don't know. Greg, you fucked up. It's probably 7 a.m. That wasn't italicized, you fucking loser. Oh, let's call him. Call him right now. Let's call him. Hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Hold 
<laughs> hey. Hey, Chief. Hey, what's going on? Hopefully he doesn't say anything racist, you know, because that's what he usually does. <laughs> no, how he... Yep. Yo, uh, you're live on the basement yard right now. So Frankie uh, is doing everything in his power to disrupt this thing. But whoa, 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 just, whoa, whoa. We want to know what time does the tickets go on sale on April 2nd, pre-sale? Ooh, 10 a.m. Hang on. It's a lie. Is he it 10 a.m.? He doesn't know. He's is it 10 a.m.? 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Yeah, yeah. 10 a.m. what? Eastern. Pacific. Life, Mountain. Ten, it's, it's 10 a.m. Eastern, right? Because that's the superior time zone. Yes, that's the only time zone. Thank you so much, Greg. We appreciate it so much. Thank you so much. Have a good one, fellas. Thanks. That was very aggressive on your end. Two, what? Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Listen, April 2nd, 10 a.m. Tickets go on sale, pre-sale. Go to thebasementyard.com. Use the code BASEMENT to get access to all of these tickets. And we are going to be going on the road. This is the rest of the year. This, all right, now hear me out. There's also general public tickets. However, you dirty little whores, you don't want to be a part of that. No. Why? Because then those fucking normies out there are going to get their gross <laughs> little oily grubs all over these sweet, sweet tickets. It's true. And you don't want it. So April 2nd, mm -hmm. Tuesday, April 2nd, 10 a.m. Eastern, which adjust accordingly, wherever the hell you are in the world. If you're somewhere stupid like fucking yeah. London. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But make sure you go and use the code BASEMENT. Yes. B-A-S-E-M-E-N-T, baby. And then on April 5th, these get released to the general public. But you don't, as Greg said here, and I quote, but, should I read this, Don't, Greg? he didn't write any, oh. But if you're watching this, <laughs> there's no reason to risk missing out. <laughs> so make sure you use that pre-sale code on April 2nd. Go to thebasementyard.com for all dates and tickets. Greg doesn't sell like that. He does now. Guess what? This is canon now. All right, guys. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the pre-sale cold. You know what? No. Just hit me with a full truck. Hit me with your best shot. Hit me with your best shot. There was a little bit... <laughs> There was a little bit of pee that left me when you hit that. That was, was unbelievable. Was that was really good. <laughs> I think we're taking that on the road as well. Okay. Um, all right, but listen. Tour starts May. Go. We tell you the rest of the days? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, May 17th, we're in Philly. We're at the Met in Philly. So if you're in Philadelphia, you pop out, all right? Philadelphia, we're coming. May 17th, we're in Philly at that the was, Met. That was not a good Philly act. You're mean. <laughs> Philadelphia. Uh, June 14th, Denver. We're at the Paramount. June 22nd, we're in D.C. At Slow the, down. At the Anthem. What do you want to make a whole fucking... I think we should talk about this stuff. We'll get to it. Denver. Yes, we're going to say it's the altitude at least once or twice. We're going to be at the Paramount. Some, one of us will. <laughs> Joey didn't specify that. We're going to be at the Paramount. Paramount. I did. Mountaintop, Denver, Synergy. Just want to throw that <laughs> out there. All right? Para. What's that mean? Para. Big, big pair of tits. Big pa <laughs> pair of boys up there on a mountain making jokes. June 22nd, the nation's capital, apparently. Joey's going back <laughs> since January of 2021. <laughs> and we're going to, the, to anthem. the Anthem Theater. Then July 11th, we're in Atlanta. Ooh, At ATL the Georgia, what does it do for you? <laughs> The you know, Roxy. Peace up, A Town Down at the Roxy Theater. July. The next day. Can 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 I can I get a little play here? <laughs> you just did a whole little haiku there. <laughs> you want peace up, A Town? You want to say all the Atlanta? I do. I do. Things I do. that you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, July twelfth, we're in Nashville uh, at the James K. Polk Theater. That was the president's name, James K. Polk. I'm pretty sure he, he wasn't one of the fat ones. <laughs> just want to throw that out there. He wasn't one of the fat. I'm ones. just saying. Just want to say, uh, giddy up on your way from Nashville to a quick turnaround. July 18th, baby. Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah. We're going to be with the Bear Shuppy Chicago. And we're coming to Chicago July 18th at the Chicago Theater. Okay, we're going to go over to the Bean, and we're going to look into it. And we're going to flick it. We're going to flick the Bean. We're going to rub it. the Bean. T take it easy, all right? And then we're going to spit on the Bean. Yeah? No. No. That was crazy. Why are people so obsessed with this fucking Bean? I don't know. I want to look into it. I think it's just a big metallic looking bean. I don't know. But beans don't even look like that to me. Uh, yeah, they're so. <laughs> <laughs> I think we were singing the beginning to a Lion King yeah, yeah, song. Yeah. Um, okay, moving on. August 1st, 
We're in L.A., Los Angeles. California love. <laughs> we're coming to L.A. Uh, August 3rd, we're in Seattle. That's right, baby. Get, get You're your, getting up there with the trees and shit. With the trees, with the origin of grunge, maybe we'll hang out with Dave Grohl up there. You never know. Is that where the origin... We won't. Yeah, you didn't know that? Like grunge music? Like No, no. I didn't know that. You didn't know <laughs> the origin of grunge? You think I'm holding on to that information? I I thought uh, uh, in your travels, you maybe have learned a thing or two about something outside of fucking watches, cute little race cars, and fucking, I don't know, wine. What, what else? Yeah, wine, you fucking <laughs> drunk. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go get some fresh air in Seattle. Then, moving on, uh, we're in Toronto, uh, August 17th. Ooh, international boys. Yeah. The basement goes international. Which, if that sells out, we love Toronto. They've always been a big supporter. Time out! <laughs> I mean, really. You can't. <laughs> this is not the way you do an announcement. Uh, but if we sell out that show very quickly, we're going to add another show Okay, uh, on that. But it's up to you guys. If we sell the show out on August 17th, we will put another show up there. Uh, probably on August 16th. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we'll do two shows in Toronto if you guys are out there. But we wanted to, you know, have those dates open because we know that Toronto has been super supportive of us. Oh, yeah. Um, and then we're heading to Texas. Uh, September 18th, we're going to be in Dallas. Uh, September 19th in Houston. And then September 22nd in Austin. Okay? Dallas, the Majestic Theater. Houston, Bayou Music Theater, and yes, I'm telling you right now, I will ev v verbally eviscerate any and all Houston Astro fans that I see, so prepare yourselves for that. <laughs> and then Austin, the Paramount. Two Paramounts here. A lot of Paramount Paramount, going Paramount on. Denver, Paramount Austin, yeah. all right? So, and then we're the ending the show in New York City. We're not going to tell you when or where yet uh, because – it's going to be a special show for us. We're from New York City, so we're ending the tour uh, in New York City. From the basement to our backyard. That's fire. I went with Wakanda for I'm going to use that at some point I, for well, this thing. Just copyright, copyright, copyright. copyright. <laughs> it's copyrighted. What do you want to do? Get paid? Because you are. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. Um, so, yeah, just to go over it very quickly again so you guys know, and also all this information is at thebasementyard.com. Um, like I said, today is April 1st when you're watching this. Tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern. Uh, Tuesday, April 2nd, uh, thebasementyard.com. Use the code BASEMENT um, to buy tickets to all of these shows. And like I said, like Frankie was talking about, April 5th is when they're going to go on sale to the general public. But by that time, you know, you may get upcharged because we can't control people buying tickets and reselling them. I saw that some people for our other shows, they were selling tickets up in the balcony for like $200. Really? You know? Yeah. I want some of that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So so don't do that. Um, but yeah, just to go over it quickly, May 17th, we're in Philly. June 14th, we're in Denver. June 22nd, D.C. July 11th in Atlanta. July 12th in Nashville. July 18th in Chicago. August 1st in L.A. August 3rd in Seattle. August 17th in Toronto. Uh, September 18th, Dallas. September 19th, Houston. September 22nd, Austin. And then the New York show that has yet to be named all right, we'll be coming after that. All right, we, we don't know when. We do we, know well, when. We, do. we know when. <laughs> we, we know, know when. when. We know when. You, you don't. don't know when. You don't know when. You, you don't, don't know. fucking you don't know. know anything. You know, I know. What did now? What? You don't fucking now? Know. What, Dad? My dad said he's gonna come to that. By the way, what? Which one? New York. I swear to God, I'm, I'm my dad too. You want I asked funny? Him, I said, "Hey, are you gonna come to the New York show?" And he's like, "It was my fucking idea." And I was like. <laughs> where? Where though? Where was it your idea? You want to know something even funnier? I told my dad about a potential New York show, and his first thing out of his mouth, I told you this offline, <laughs> but this is news for you. First thing out of his mouth, he goes, Save Lenny a ticket. And I'm like, Dad, <laughs> are you going to want to come see me at any point? Oh, yeah, of course, but like, Lenny. Yeah. Well, for those of you guys that don't know, yeah, long, long story, but just like, <laughs> yeah, you know? It's great. So um, this is. Wildly exciting. Um, yeah, we're all, we're all over the place right now. And also, you know, we're tr but this is all we have. We're probably not going to add any shows in between this because we just, you know, don't have the time. Like, a little diversity also. Yeah. We want something. We want you to look at the, the continental United States and go, eh, I can make some picks here. Now, listen, if you're in somewhere stupid like Iowa or fucking <laughs> Arkansas, tough shit. I'm kidding. It's not stupid. I don't know. I've never been. And, but Iowa. 
I've never been there. Neither have I. Mm-hmm. I hear it's all corn. Is who from who? From who, who did from you hear that from? General knowledge. Oh. It's just like all cornfields. So, mm. ladies and gents, if this doesn't get you excited, if this doesn't perk you up on Monday, April 1st. Also, like I said, really quick, this is not April Fool's. There's no like April Fool's <laughs> yeah, no. drop coming. This is a very serious thing. Um, <clears throat> we are excited. We are ready. Mm-hmm. We are... Horny, probably. Oh, uh, all right. I wasn't going there. I was saying probably. I don't know. So, uh, get your... <clears throat> are you okay? Get your butts ready. I'm getting back in and doing it, you know? Okay. Yeah, you know, I'll shower. Uh, but yeah, guys, thebasemeyard.com. Uh, get the tickets. There will be a button that shows you like where to get all the tickets. Uh, or if you just like fucking scroll down. I don't know. There's not a lot of, even on this website. You could find it. You're a capable person. Uh, but yeah, Tuesday, April 2nd, 10 a.m. Go get the tickets. Um, you know, we're hoping that... We could sell this bitch out before April 5th even gets here, honestly. And that would be insane. If we actually did that, that would be insane. Um, but if we sell all these out, Joey said he'll let me slap his ass as hard as I can. Bare ass, wet hand. Wet hand? I don't, yeah. What is it wet with? Lick. Spit. <laughs> Lick? <laughs> let me slap your ass like hard. Why do you want to slap my ass? Not for a, like a horny thing, but just like a power dominating thing. You want me to come across your legs? Ooh. No. Weird. Yeah, no. <laughs> so, Ooh. La- ladies and gents, again, one more time for you. May 17th, Philadelphia at the Met. June 14th, Denver, Colorado, the Paramount. June 22nd, Washington, D.C., the Anthem. July 11th, Atlanta, Georgia at the Roxy. July 12th, Nashville, Tennessee, do, 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 the James K. Pelt Theater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. July 18th, Chicago at the Chicago Theater. August 1st, L.A. We're going, dude. August 3rd, Seattle, more theater. Also, we're not exactly sure which theater it is in L.A. yet. Yeah, we're still That's locking why it's down blank. Today. That's why we didn't say it. That's why. Uh, August 17th, Toronto at the Meridian. I don't know Toronto accents. Do you? <laughs> it's not that. Well, we'll figure it out. September 18th, they, 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 Majestic Theater in Dallas, Texas. September 19th, Houston. By you mean thing. <laughs> and then, of course, I think in New York City. We're not going to tell you where. We're not going to tell you when quite yet. Keep those butts planted to the ground and fucking grab the handles and scream yeehaw. So here we go. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, so yeah, that's that. You want to read through it again? No, I don't. Okay, we, we we did it too many times there. But yeah, we want everyone to come out to these shows. We had so much fun in the first Bro, three. Could I? So uh, Joey knows me, obviously. <laughs> I am. You know me. You know me. I am like, I am excited, but like I'm always like, and I said it with the first two shows. Like I don't think we're gonna sell out. Yeah. So prove me wrong, please. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I I I, I like. I mean. I'm just not thinking about it, to be honest with you. We're going to put the tickets out. And yeah, then, I'm like, going to pretend like I'm not going to check my phone <laughs> mo- that Monday morning. No, I mean, like, I'm not thinking about it of, like, how, to me, it's like, oh, we're going to fucking go to Seattle and sell 1,500 tickets or some shit. Like, yeah, but no, you, we're not. You get Seattle. You get some Oregon. You get some Canada. I'm not, but I don't even think like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not thinking of that. I'm just thinking of, like, the city. I'm a little nervy. I'll tell you. So, let's let's see. It should be good. We're going to have so much fucking fun on this thing. And by the, like, you know, like, by the time it comes around, also, it's fucking May. Like, you want to talk about getting blue balled. I wish we had a show tomorrow. May 17th. It's as of when this comes out, it's a month and a half. So start that countdown. Start that countdown. Start Get that your kitty, motherfucking that. tickets, bitch. Start that kitty cat countdown. What's the kitty cat the Kitty count- cat, babe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> kitty cat, babe. Yeah. So. Uh, but yeah, we, uh, we, we definitely are like super fucking excited for this. Um, fuck, you know, uh, this is, this is going to be a lot of traveling for sure yeah. um, but we're super excited to to meet all you guys um and and do these shows i mean the first three were a lot of fun and but i think by the third one we were already like it was wildly different than the first one and uh we all we know now like the things that we want to do differently or you know whatever blah 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 it's a lot of fucking fun uh, at the shows i mean uh, from what i've seen people look like they have a good time what i've heard and also like we're having the fucking time of our lives up there so and also Let's make this abundantly clear. Mm-hmm. Mr. Uh, I Hate Cheese himself, Greg, will be there. Yeah. Let's make this also very clear. 
Schmetti Rubs will be there. Schmetti Rubs. Schmetti Official will be there. Schmetti Official will, be Schmetti there. Official will <laughs> definitely be there. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, he's he's ready. We're ready. Greg's ready. Mikey's yeah. ready. Yeah. You know, and, you know, just kind of buckling down, hammering down, doing it that Yeah! Game. Sorry. That was real gyrating. I wasn't gyrating. I was getting my... Well, I guess I was. That is a bit of a gyrate. I did watch Django last night, so I'm like... Django? Django. Unchained. Yeah. How is that? Because he, he's, they're riding horses. Oh, I thought you were grinding. I'm not kidding. I, I oh. didn't know you were uh, giddying up. No, no, no. I was on I a horse. I thought you were giddying down. You no, know no, what no, I'm no, no, no. I was riding a horse, clearly. I'm, this ever, is clearly riding a horse. When's the last time you rode a horse? Zero times. No, we went to a, a... That was a pony, bro. That's not a horse. Ponies, ponies a baby horse. Yeah, that's not a horse, though. Like a full-grown, kick your head off horse? No, I've never ridden one. Rodin one? Road? Ride. I've never ridden. Ri- ridden is I've right. never ridden a horse. Rode yeah. a horse. Wait, is ridden a word? Like, but I know ridden is like you've ri- ridden away with something. But have That's you... still unwritten. People keep tagging us in the picture. Unwritten pic- is not. I know, unwritten. But like people keep tagging us in the picture of that hot dog that it says that on the hot dog. 1,000 people have sent that to me. Yeah, me too. <laughs> kind of weird guy. how that just came out after we decided to speak about. Well, we always talk about hot dogs. Yeah. Also, Natasha Bedingfield. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah. So, we're super excited. Come out to the shows. Please, for the love of God, if you're watching this, set your alarm to 10 a.m. and buy a ticket in your city. Fuck. Or in a neighboring city. Maybe make a couple days out of it. Maybe it's someone's birthday. Maybe it's your birthday. Come to all of them. Oh, well. Right. <laughs> make a traveling Bro, band. Bro, could you imagine? Like, we're the Grateful Dead. There are people that follow the dead around. Also, all the shows are different. Just saying that. Yeah, just so want to make that. two shows near you. Just want to make through. just want to make that clear. It's like we are also tailoring this to be different depending on where we are. I'm sure that's probably something that many people often do when they perform. But like, this isn't going to be like what you get at one city, you get at the other. It's it's completely by, different by design. They are entirely unique. Yeah. So so, so, so pop, pop out to as many as you want. Whoever comes to the most shows, nothing will happen, but we'll appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. We'll give you one of these. <laughs> you got a hard salute, brother. Brother, absolute hard. Yeah. So, um, anyway, that's that on the tour stuff, I guess. TheBasementYard.com. Use that promo. The was it? Oh the code is God. basement. The code is basement for pre sale. Tomorrow, 10 a.m. Bitch, line up. I want to see multiple people tagging us in countdowns, alarms. Yeah. Like I want to see a screenshot of an alarm. I need alarms. Nine thirty, nine thirty-five, nine forty, nine forty-five. Yeah. And then we're gonna go fucking ape shit. Well, we're going to go ape shit. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Take it easy, okay? It's going to be a lot of fun. Hey. I'm excited. What are we, where are we supposed to talk we're about? We're talking about now? a bunch of stuff. It's April Fool's Day. Oh, yeah. Today's You're April Fool's Day. You're a big Fool's pranky Day. guy. No, man. I've stopped. I've had to slow down. Oh, uh, you could prank children. I, I think that's what you're not supposed to do. Prank children? Yeah. Those that... are the ones that like pranks. An adult plays a prank on me. I'm like, dude, you're 30. <laughs> what are you doing? Well. But uh, you're fucking like eight-year-old kid. Come on in. That was a prank. I got him for April Fool's. There was no one here. Wow. I'm a trendsetter. I'm, my tummy's a little rumbly tumbly right now. It might have been that. Who <laughs> asked about that? Expired Pop Tart. I just say. <laughs> Frankie knows they're expired. He's a, he's known the the Pop Tarts here have been expired for well over four months, right? No. A whole queue? No. I think a whole queue no, is expired. No, 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 no. And Frankie much. opens it up like, I'm going to eat this. They're it expired. It says Best Buy, which means that afterward, they're just not as best. Yeah. So it's okay. But at a certain point, they're beyond alive. Beyond, beyond best when they start to look not not best anymore, you know? I mean, they're not at their best. <laughs> they're always at their best. They're Pop-Tarts, bitch. Although, we got to kick back on the Pop-Tarts. They're still in that great debate right now. Great War? What is it? What? They're trying to become the branding, official branding partner of the Basement Yard podcast. Yeah, I don't know where this is happening. Probably <laughs> just in your mind. What was it? It's, it's Pop-Tarts. Bed, quite, bath, I, I mean, listen, we've gotten a bunch of inquiries. I just said Bed Bath & Beyond. <laughs> they, they, they Wait, need they're our, bankrupt. If anything, they need our help. <laughs> <laughs> they need us to sponsor them. That's at shocking. Point. I used to love Bed Bath & Beyond. Bro, walking into a Bed Bath & Beyond was so sick. Though I've never gone into that store without spending at least 220 And how much of that was candles? Half. At least. Half was fucking candles because Yankee Candle, by the way. Hey, hey guys. Oh, yeah. Why is it yeah. why is it forty fucking dollars? Play it play it smart. Play it close to the vest. Oh, they want to send us candles. You know? Play it play it close to the vest and just tell it's them. It's the chest. It isn't the vest. It's play it close to the chest. To the vest. It's the chest. It's not the vest. Seriously? 
I didn't know that. I always thought it was play close to the vest because you wear a vest and it only covers your like heart. It's vest? No, it's both. Oh shit! Look, this says play close to the vest, play close to the chest. Oh, all right, so both work. So we're both equally as smart and and dumb. Mmm. Mmm. I see chest. Let me see vest. Yeah, I guess both work. There you go. Good see? Job. Right. We, we like to give you guys options. Yeah, we. You know, <laughs> diversity is king. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, whatever. That's it. But I love that. Yeah, dude, bro, I, the times I went in, like, we went in for our original wedding registry. Mm -hmm. Bing, 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 bing. Things we didn't need are. Wait, do you get a gun? Hell yeah. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. You didn't know this? No, no, no. So when you get, you have a wedding registry. Oh, hi, Bed Bath Me on. You want to sign up with us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, take this gun. Here's your account. And you just shoot the items? And you shoot the items. And then you give back the gun. Bro. Or you I, can do it online, but like not as cool. That's fire. Not as cool as going and shooting them. They're smart giving you the gun because they know idiots like us would be like, oh, I'm going to, I just want to shoot this. Yeah, I don't also, care. Also, did you blind Becca with the red light? No, no, no. I shot her butt though. Okay. I well, shot her butt a hundred times. That was going to be my next question. Yeah. Well, it, it, what, <laughs> what you got to You got to shoot the butt. But every single time, <laughs> every time that I went to bed with the on, tried to say that too quickly. Candles. Yep. I, I, would would leave there with a new spatula or the scoop one that you do like pasta with? What's that called? Oh, the pasta claw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Just like the, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, is it called pasta claw? Yeah, that's, that's your what name. It's called. No, pasta claw. Yeah. Called. So I would get one of those like every single time. Um, also, sometimes I would get like a pan because they always have like a pan with new technology. I love yeah, I love pans. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Like, and I'm still trying to find good pans. Because, we like, love pans. I had I had like nonstick and, and those, trans and trans. And we all pans and trans. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Because there was But a, not clans. Bang. <laughs> the basement I, yard supports for pans, trans, no clans. I, -uh. just, I did just watch Django. No. All right. <laughs> He's very clan out right now. Yeah. He's crazy. all especially with that white hood you're wearing, Joe. Let me tell you. You son of a bitch. <laughs> you do have a white hoodie on after watching Django Unchained. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, 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 exactly. So we had like regular nonstick, but those no good. The PFAS and, and PFOS and stuff like that. No good. Trust me. Wait, would you just say PFAS? PFAS. It's like a chemical and stuff. We're all doomed because we've been having it our whole life, so it, it's too late to make a change. But, like, you can get, like, st I, I haven't gotten stainless steel yet because those are such bitches to clean. I can tell you, as someone who has stainless steel, it is not fun. Also, they're not going to look like that the next time you cook. The well, first you're time supposed you use to, them, like, you're supposed to heat them up. So I the know. water, the beating, the beating, Joey. The water is supposed to be beating. I know. I looked up a TikTok video. Yeah, okay. And I <laughs> watched it. But it's like, first of all, that require like now I'm cooking my pans in order to cook my food. Here, here's it's what just I'm gonna annoying. Here's what I'm gonna tell you. We did like the like the natural ones. I don't wanna shout out the brand because Who's natural? Pans? They're like naturally coated ceramic ones, but they're like still metal. Mm -hmm. Those aren't great either. No? I'll tell you what I what I do have though that are really good. Tell the me. The cast iron that are coated in a ceramic coating. Do that. <laughs> do it. I'm telling you right now. Okay. You'll thank me. It's like it's basically nonstick, but it's heavier. Oh, it's a heavy fucking pan. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. We got a couple Dutch ovens, you know. We got a couple couple uh, pans. What's a Dutch oven? It's it's like a big pot that you could put in the oven with a lid. It's all cast oh. iron and it's coated in ceramic. Oh. Like, uh, le, what's that place called that makes the pants? Le, le, le crochet. Le, le, le crochet. Le, le croissé. Le, le, le croissé. What is it? Le crosse. Le, le crosse. Le, le cross. I think le, it's le cross. Think it's le cross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Le, le crochet. Le crochet. Yeah. They sell like, I, I forgot who it was through. It was like they sell like a 90 piece set. 90? I, it's some ridiculous. It's like 90 pieces for like $4,000. Oh, I thought it'd be more. Look it, up, look it up. Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. They don't sell forty piece, dude. This place is fucking expensive too. Because my sister one year was like, "Oh, my mom wants a new fucking." Your like, sister loves French stuff. She, yo, you have no idea. She loves like fucking. This bitch loves macaroons, croissants. Like she would. She loves that shit. Yeah. She always has. Shopping, you know. Well, I don't know if that's a French thing. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. When I picture French women, I picture very tall, cigarette. On a stick. We've talked about dead this. Dead cat. Dead Just, animal. Not a cat, but like, you know, a cat's always following them for some reason. There is a cat always following them, and they're like, come on, je Yeah, they you have know? a really like cool they, name. They talk French to them, Yeah, and then they give them like sardines, which they have in their bag for some reason yeah, all the time. Yeah, what is that about? And they have tiny little glasses. <laughs> saw something, <laughs> I saw something once. I forgot the comedian's name, so I want to take credit for it. 
but he was like insulting. Oh, it's that comedian that that had like that TikTok that go viral. That was just like the girl was like telling him he's racist, and he's like, he was like yelling at her, and he's like, I got like a hundred racist jokes in the chamber. I don't know. There, he's a comedian that he's blown up, but like, <laughs> he was arguing with a French woman. And he was just like, oh, uh-huh, France, people are swearing that it is so beautiful like Paris, but th- it's actually the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> Some shit like that. That's funny. Look it up. La, cr- La Croce. How much it costs? There's like a n- giant set. Just put, just type in giant set of, of <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me finish and you'll get what I was going to. Giant set <laughs> of milky white udders. No, don't do that. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I am going to look it up, though. But I was the reason why I, was, I brought that up was because uh, uh, my sister was like, oh, mom wants a new pot for fucking Christmas or something. I was like, la, oh, okay. La croissette. 400 bucks. I'm like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you can get a good Dutch oven for like 70, 80 bucks. Isn't a Dutch oven when you fart? It's a you, fart thing. Yeah, brother. You, <laughs> it's a fart thing. It is a fart thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, before we look up the $5 billion pots and pans uh we do have some we have some sponsors for today the first one being zocdoc okay zocdoc is where you're going to book all of your appointments as an adult okay and you're going to find doctors on here uh that take your insurance and it's going to be great okay it's a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online okay so they're patient reviews so you go on you type in your insurance you're like okay these are the doctors that take me in my area and here's their next appointments and there's a sneeze coming. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, and they're also patient reviewed. So, you know, that if someone has a really good review, it's not just because these doctors paid for that review. They are patient reviewed. So I trust it. Um, and it's a good way to find out, like, you know, who takes your insurance because that's a whole other thing. I've, I've called places and they're like, yep. And you get there and they're like, nope. And I'm like, great. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, you can go check out ZocDoc. Go to ZocDoc.com slash basement and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book top rated doctors today. Spelled Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash basement. Okay. So go book your next appointment with ZocDoc. Uh, ZocDoc.com slash basement. All right, folks. Uh, and next year we have FitBod. FitBod is going to help you get into shape. Okay. Because they create personalized workouts for whatever your uh, experience with fitness is. If you're just starting out, you never picked up a weight, you never took a, you know, a nice jog. Uh, it doesn't matter. They're going to set up a workout routine for you. You can't just go online and type in workout routine and do that. Okay. That's not really, you know, helpful to anybody. Um, so it, you know, adapts to what your experience level is and what your progress is. Um, it tracks your muscle recovery uh, so you can avoid burnout and, and keep up your momentum. So it's a great way to get in shape. Also, a lot cheaper than having a personal trainer that you have to go and you know be to. And also, if you, even, if you don't even have access to a gym, if you don't have a gym membership, you could do all this in the comfort of your own home. Even if you don't have any sort of dumbbells or workout equipment, you can still, um, they will create a, a workout routine for you. Um, and you can get 25% off your subscription or try that for free at fitbod.me slash basement. That is F-I-T-B-O-D dot M-E slash basement. Okay, fitbod.me slash basement. So go on there, get in some nice shape, all right? And save some money too because you'd be paying, you know, an arm and a leg to, for a personal trainer. Um, and this is a more affordable way to kind of do that. So fitbod.me slash basement, enjoy. Yeah, guess what else you can enjoy? More of us. Folks, we have the dates. We have the meats. But guess what? Unlike Arby's, the meat you're getting here is raw and real. So... <laughs> what is wrong with you two? <laughs> I, just, I just insinuated that Arby's has cooked fake meat. Yeah, which, maybe. No, I don't know. I've never eaten at an Arby's, so... But guess what, folks? You know what I have done? I've gone to patreon.com slash the basement yard, and I've watched the cavalcade of stuff that is there. So go check it out. Patreon.com slash the basement yard, where you sign up for that first tier. You get these weekly episodes one week in advance. Normally, this one we didn't do because it's a little specially spesh, but normally you get these weekly episodes one week, seven whole days prior to anybody else that is a non patron. And then if you sign up for that next tier, mm, 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 yummy, 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 you get. <laughs> is this kid kidding me? <laughs> mm, 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 yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> Fuck. You get exclusive episodes that nobody else gets to see except for your beautiful eyes as a patron. And the almost, as of recording, 29,999 other ones. Wait, what? 
We're almost at 30,000. Not that close. <laughs> 29,758 of you? I don't know what oh, it probably, exactly probably, is. Probably, but probably. by the time this comes out, maybe it's 30, which if it is, poop. Okay? <laughs> so go check it out. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. We thank you guys so much. And I've been telling you, go to TheBasementYard.com. That's the hub for everything for the show. You can find the link for the Patreon. You can find the link for our merch. And now you can find all the little clickable boxes or whatever shape they are for the tour. Okay, so go check it out. TheBasementYard.com, Patreon.com, slash TheBasementYard. I thank you. I love you. I support you. And I'm here for you. Okay. Well, I'm glad that's over with. You ever eaten at an Arby's? Never. Me, me neither. I'm <clears> kind <throat> of afraid. And especially now. They're fast gonna, food. We're going to walk in and they're going to fucking see us and poison our shit. Yeah, like fast food. Fucking fast food. Hey, you want some fast food? Roast pulled, beef. Pulled pork. <laughs> What the hell is this? Probs not. Yeah, why? Also, people that eat McRibs, psychotic. Crazy thing to be what, doing. What, ribs are not that. That's not what ribs are. Yeah, no. Not at all. But I also, I'm Mc, very like... McDonald's and Arby's are out. But also, we're eating chicken from fast food, so... Every... Oh, let's put... Let's make it very... But it's not red. Let's Ew. make it abundantly clear. <laughs> all of our food is poison. Fair. We're all going to die probably... Because of some food-related thing. Mm. So, whatever. Whether it's Arby's killing us or somebody else, you know? Not saying Arby's is killing anyone. Don't sue us. Us? <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm an agent. I'm an agent of the Basement Yard podcast, bitch. An agent? Yeah, damn right. <laughs> I don't know about there's legal, that, there's legal. There's legal terms there. <laughs> legal. <That's> Literally. <laughs> you just spit an incredible amount just now all over yourself. All myself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All over your arms and shit. What would you do if I spit in the air and caught it? Into your own mouth? Yeah. Vomit? <laughs> Disgusting. Yeah. Were you one of those kids back in the day? No, I, like, hate, I hate it. Don't do it. I hate it. I hate it. Uh, Were you I like, hate, I hate drop it. the spit and no, then oh, suck oh, it back oh, up? I swear to God. I'm... That was such a 90s thing. I hate. I hate that shit too. It's disgusting. I hate that. And I like, hate spit. In I a non-sexual sp manner, it's disgusting. Oh. What? Yeah. Yeah, in a non-sexual manner. Yeah, you spitting? <laughs> yeah? A, sp a, s a spit and swapping spit is part of swapping sex. Swapping spit. Well, are you like <clears throat> spitting on someone? Frankie, please. <laughs> you know what I mean? Children watching this. <laughs> there are? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Probably shouldn't be. I would agree. No, I hated that where it's like they fucking like drop it and stuff like that. I hate, you know, spit, farts, poop. Not good jokes for me. Yeah. And now there are people that like can like unlock their phone by doing that. What? You've never seen that? People they can do that their, drop they thing. They iguana or chameleon? Which is the one? Chameleon. Yeah. Chameleon. It's a cool animal. Very cool. I looked at getting one once. <clears throat> yeah. You looked at, you almost got a chameleon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When? Adult? Uh, define adult. 23. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Barely an adult. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but like it was when I was living in uh, Milford. And I was like, oh, shit, like, maybe I should get a pet. I almost got Fresh a out of college, and you're like, I should get a chameleon in here. I thought I, I almost got a chameleon. I almost got a ferret. almost got a snake. Frank, all of those are literally bottom-of-the-barrel animals for <laughs> no, me. they're not. Why did you not think of the actual First animals all, that people enjoy? Don't you dare disrespect chameleons by saying they're bottom-of-the-barrel animals. Well, no, that's, that's fine. Ferrets and snakes? Ferrets, I, I was like, oh, these are so cool. Those It'd are very different. emo animals. It would be different. And then I heard that apparently they just smell like the fucking rodents they are. So I was like, all right, I'm not doing that. And then snakes. I told you the story I heard with some girl knew that like the fucking snake was like trying to eat her or some shit. Yeah. Can't do that. But also you don't have a sword tattoo and listen to Screamo. So you can't have a snake. How do you know? I, what do I When's what? the last time you've seen my full naked body? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> fair, you honestly. don't know what tattoos I may or may not have. When was the last time I've seen most of your body? Oh, recently. Oh. New Haven? Oh? Didn't? We got in a tub. Oh, I was in a bathing suit. Yeah. That tub, fu that tub fucked me up. But you weren't always in a bathing suit, that right? That tub fucked me up. Yeah. Oh, also, the steam room. Yeah. I was sitting boxied out. Yeah, you were letting it swing. Well, no, no, no. Take it easy. I wasn't yeah, yeah, it wasn't any. swinging. I You're right. Nothing was, well, no, 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 don't do that either. <laughs> I wasn't letting anything yeah. swing, yeah. whether it could or couldn't. Right. I was in boxers or shorts. Yeah. Neither of these things really, uh, you know, it, it, I don't know what I was about to say. Something about it doesn't qualify you to own a ferret. 
<laughs> oh well, you know. And then, uh, but yeah, and then you know what's so interesting is I had done more research like years later. On, not more research, but like I looked into a chameleon years later, and like they're not supposed to be as cheap as they are, like at like a PetSmart or something like that. They're supposed to be like those apparently are not treated well, and they're like ripped from their habitat or born in like squalor. Like Oliver. I mean, Quist. they live. They're homeless. <laughs> so I don't know about. Technically, they're not. Uh, the chameleons. The idea of homelessness has only come about as of the creation of man, Joey. Prior to that, as you know, primordial animal beings, homelessness was not an issue because we shared the planet together. Fair. Now, as we have privatized land and residence, it has become an issue, which is theft inherently. How many homeless people have you taken off the street? <laughs> Take it off the street? Where am I putting them? <clears throat> I don't know. Well, you know? You? You got, a, you got a big basement? I live in an apartment. I can't. I can't. Oh, right? that's your, you have an open room, though, bitch. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> it's an office. It, is it an office? I, I saw be, a bed in it. I have to. I, sometimes I get tired at you work. You sleep in your office? <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I get tired. Joe Santagato, big business sleeper in office. That's my... Just move on. Okay. Move we're, on right we're now. We're going to be moving on. Look, Quasette, what is it? How big? Uh, so uh, you, expensive. <laughs> how big? How big is she? Um, this is a stainless steel 14-piece set, and it's $1,700. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Yeah. For some pots and pans. 14 that, piece. That you're going to not use and order DoorDash. Let's be honest. I'd rather do the other one that's 1500 You get... Uh, uh -oh. cast iron 11 piece Joey's gonna get this now no I'm not I have nowhere to put all that yeah also you don't cook <laughs> you fucking lose her there's a fucking Bobby Flay over here he made a fucking cheese sauce eight years ago and all of a sudden I am gonna Shut the fuck I am up. going to defend I also you know you know what you know what bitch I made hollandaise sauce the other day miles what miles actually oh I, he makes all the sauces <laughs> I'm a big sauce guy <laughs> what is hollandaise it is uh egg yolks a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of olive juice. Nope. Lemon juice and butter. And then, you know, salt, pepper, a little <gasps> garlic. You made that? How? I mixed up five ingredients and all of a sudden he's fucking cool. What are we talking about? Well, you gotta here? be careful, Joey, because it could separate. Can we get. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be very delicate. You fucking. Losing fucking bastard. You gotta be careful, Joey, it could separate. You know what's always amazing to me? Say something that is so not amazing. It's not, but you, I mean, maybe you'll appreciate it. But like a bunch of egg whites, right? Mm -hmm. You stir it enough and it becomes like a, a cloud. At what? I hate that. What are we talking about? I don't about? like that because I want to fucking dive in it, but it's raw egg whites. But like, how does that happen? It's like you're, you're doing a bunch. It's like you just put it in that machine, the mixer. You could just hand mix. Yeah, hand mix it and it whips it and it becomes like. Just like. Oh. Like what? Yeah, dude. It doesn't make sense. Meringue, I believe, is. Just, or that's meringue is when you do it over like a double boil situation. I don't like any. Okay, meringue. Lemon meringue pie? Yeah. Ugh. Come Oof. on. You know, don't want that. I'd rather eat my when shoe. We, when we go to Denver, we eating, we eating testicles? Te Rocky oh. Mountain oysters? If there's a game, yeah. Oh, do they are they like famous for them? Wait there? a second, wait a second. If there's a game, oh, like I had a baseball them. game. I had them at the at Coors Field. I thought that's oh, why you were saying. Oh, it. I thought you meant like the baseball players. I was like, Joey, what the hell are you <laughs> no. talking about? <laughs> no, no. Oh, no, no. I didn't know they had them at the stadium. Yeah, they had them at the stadium, so we got them. And it just tastes fried. Like it's like fried. It's like a fried. It's like a fried mushroom kind of. Ew. Yeah, it's not I want like better balls than that. It, yeah, it doesn't look like a big fat nut. Does it though? No, it's like a deep fried thing. Hmm. And so we got to get like high end. You like, want you want raw balls. You want fear factor whoa, whoa, balls. Whoa, 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 whoa! I don't want raw anything. Like a fear factor nut. Mm. Remember when he was like, "Yo, eat a buffalo nut." It's Joe like, Rogan, yeah, he was crushing it. He's like, "Yeah, put your head in the spider cage and come out. When you come out, eat a buffalo's nut." Yeah, it was always like cow brains. <laughs> it's like or... I'm not scared. I'm disgusted by this. I gotta be honest with you. I always as an nine ten year old boy watch fear factor and was like i can run through this so quickly the amount of the amount of confidence i had was clearly too much for my small baby frame i was very confident in like the last thing where it's like you you have to like walk across a building and like grab a flag or something yeah because i'm like i'm hooked up i wouldn't be that i'd be scared but not that scared i you know the things i'd be terrified though is like we're gonna lock you in a car underwater i'd be like 
chill. No, the ones that I figured you wouldn't be able to do is like lay in this coffin mm-hmm. for as long as you can with that cockroaches. That whole thing. That's nothing, dude. Nothing. I'd fucking sleep. It was like when Tyrone Biggums did it. Uh, well, with, I could like, never. Sh- whether it be Chappelle show or if it was like somewhere else, but like he's like, he laid in it for like hours. He's yeah. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I could never. My brother-in-law w- tried to... My brother and brother-in-law tried to sign up together for Fear Factor, but they had aged out at that point. They were 36. I think you have to be 35, like the, the oldest. Hell, you got to they, ageism in the world of Fear Factor. I guess so. Don't love that. Because Vin was like, he's like, dude, I could eat whatever. Like, <laughs> if they give me a fucking bug, I'll eat it. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care about eating bugs. But imagine for me, they were just like, eat a tub of mustard. It's like, <laughs> yeah, right. Oh fuck! They Everyone got else me. was like, thank God, <laughs> they got me. Or there's like. <laughs> I'm thinking of like Survivor where sometimes they're like if you win you get a bottle of water and a hot dog yeah oh. and they're like they give you some mustard I'll say and this like, if, if I if the like my cash prize or whatever the prize was was just like a year long supply of hot dogs then I'd be a little more inclined but they're like you win $100,000 and it's like cool 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 you win forever hot dogs wait a second first of all <laughs> forever hot dogs it's not that many hot dogs. Forever hot dogs at the rate that, rate that I was eating them that <laughs> summer. They, uh, bro, I. You had a two week stint that was dangerous. I, two, two week. So, guys, when we like really first started promoting dog sucking season in, in the summer of 22, Joe and I were like, we did a friendly bet. And it was like, who could eat the most hot dogs? In a month and a half, <laughs> I ate 25 and I got sent to the hospital. Yeah, had like five. <laughs> and Joey was just like, it was like Memorial Day weekend. And you were like, yo, I had five. I was like, oh, I had four. And then like three weeks later, it was like, oh, I haven't had any since. It's like, I'm at 15. <laughs> <laughs> I love being at 15 and being like, we need more hot dogs <laughs> in the house. But like, you can't turn down a hot dog. There's such a good like. Let me ask you a question about hot dogs. So don't point at me like that ever again. <laughs> Do you like the when they toast the bread? Yeah. I don't like that. I do like I it. Like I don't like it. I do like, but I don't like toasted don't like bread where I bread. bite into it and it's like a fucking it's grilled dry. cheese. I don't want that. I want the outside to still be fluffy and airy. And I want the inside to be toasty so it doesn't get fucking soaked and sopping wet with all that no. fucking shit I put on it. I like that. Yeah? I like when it like when it sucks up the like oh. stuff. Like, <laughs> yeah. like the beans are like the, you know? I can't tell you how bad I want to have a hot dog right now. Oh with beans on it. You know what's funny is I recently took the kids to the aquarium in, in Jersey. And afterward, we were just like hanging out in this like little pavilion in Point Pleasant. And I, I was like, anyone hungry? And I was like, oh, I'd love a slice of pizza. I was like, all right, slice of pizza. And I was like, I might as well just get something to drink for everyone. Fries for the girls. And I came back and Becca's like, what the hell is that? <laughs> it's a fucking foot long hot dog. I was like, What? She's like, I sent you a picture of it. It was a good hot dog. You ate a foot long hot that dog? That shit was snapping in my mouth. It was <laughs> fucking snap roni Let me tell you. <laughs> Yo, you know what's that's pretty good too? Sausage. When you get sauces and peppers. That's that why. sausage is mean, dude. It's mean. It slaps you. That's why when we were in Texas and we got breakfast, do you remember I asked if it was sausage patties or links? Ah. Uh, because a fucking sausage link, dude? They're mean, dude. Oh. They slap your teeth. Bang, 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 bang. bang. Yeah. They're like spitting in your mouth and like fucking kicking the back of your teeth. I love every second of it. We do have more spots. What? Are we already at the next one of the spots? Guys, this is not a joke or an exaggeration. We've spoken about zero things outside of the show that we wanted to talk about. <laughs> we have to get to anything. Okay. We have stamps.com though. Uh, stamps.com brings all the amazing services of the post office right to your fingertips. All you need is a computer and a printer. Okay. Uh, while you're in um, your home, you can buy and print official U.S. postage. Um, and it's going to save you some time because you don't have to go to the store and then wait in lines or anything like that. Also, it could save you some money because there's some exclusive discounts um, on these sites that you can't find anywhere else, okay? You can't find them in the store. You find them on the website. So, uh, yeah, stamps.com, if you have a small business or you're selling a lot of packages, uh, it's it's worth it to use stamps.com. Set up an account. Um, you know, it's, it's very easy, and you sign up with the promo code BASEMENT for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale. No long-term contracts or commitments, anything like that. Uh, just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the page, and enter the code BASEMENT, all right? Again, that is a four-week trial, uh, plus free postage and a free digital scale. 
when you go to stamps.com uh, and click on the microphone at the top of the page and type in basement, all right? So like I said, if you have a small business and you're not using stamps.com, you're wasting money, all right? Go to stamps.com and do it. Um, and lastly here, we do have prize picks. Prize picks uh, is so much fun, okay? And March Madness starts today as we're recording. Um, and there's a lot of sports going on anyway. We oh, still have I NHL. thought you were going to say as it came out. <laughs> no, no, no. And baseball and stuff. Um, so there's a, there's a ton of things that you can place w with prize picks. Um, but basically what you're doing is you're playing against uh, these projections. So prize picks makes these projections. Um, you know, are the Rangers going to win by more or less than one and a half goals? Something like that um, you can bet on. And you, and you build out these lineups anywhere from two to six, and you can win up to 25 times your money. It's a lot of fun. Um, there's also some other things that you'll learn when you go into the app where it's like you don't have to hit the entire thing. Sometimes you could take a, like a, a lesser amount of money of being like, oh, if I get one of these wrong, I could still win. There's a lot of cool things that they do with prize picks, and you guys will love it. And uh, like I said, you start getting to it now. Before you know it, football will be here too. Um, that's personally when I love it the most. But right now you got you – got, you got NBA, you got NHL, you got March Madness, you got a whole bunch of stuff. Um, so go check it out. And uh, you can go to pricepicks.com slash basement. Use the code basement for a first deposit match up to $100. So if you put $100 in there, they're going to match it. They're going to put another $100 in there, all right? You put 50 bucks in there, they'll put 50 bucks in there. Uh, and you'll, you'll be able to play like that. So go to pricepicks.com slash basement and use the code basement for a first deposit match up to $100 right now. All right? Enjoy that. <laughs> also something i didn't say last time is as of when this comes out guys go check out that patreon too because guess what guess what's on there you might be able to find and watch yeah yeah the collab show we did with bad friends oh yeah with the bad friends themselves bad friends x the basement yard the collab of dream <laughs> go check it out patreon.com slash basement click around you'll find it we didn't it. talk about that trip at all did we um, we talked about it on Patreon. Oh, we did. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. A little limp, <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, because remember we. <laughs> remember what did Greg? Young P. Shima say. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? What did Greg do? I'm trying to remember. <laughs> when we went to the gun range, and Greg's like, and he, uh, he he accidentally hits the mag out. <laughs> Bro, I we, think it's jammed. I'm like, I think the mag's on the ground. Yeah, it's fucking Greg. I don't know if you're like this, but like. I get so freaked out around guns, even in a controlled setting, setting like that, because it's just you're you're holding life and death in your hands. You know what I mean? Like, where's the life? <laughs> the taking of it. Oh, or saving of it. Either way, it's just wild, and I get freaked out. So, like, when he starts shooting, he's he's the first to shoot, <laughs> and he goes. It's jammed, and the fucking magazine just falls out the bottom of this handgun. It it's so just funny. like, oh my god. Also, didn't want to tell you. Well, I just, I watched it after we got back from the gun range, but I saw a video of a guy, and he shot a metal target, and it came back, and he killed himself. <gasps> no. Yeah. Was he? I was. I was gonna ask if he's okay. Unalive. That's I how was, they say it on the internet. Yeah. Well, we're dead. It's dead. Right, say, yeah, we're, we're dead. We're done. We're hundred percent dead. Yeah, it's over. Dead. <laughs> The show's money is dead. Damn, that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a funny way to like say that. But that's why, remember when we went and they were like, yo, no metal targets, oh, no shit. nothing like well, that. Well, good, honestly. I've shot yeah. a, Have you shot at a metal target before? No, I've only shot plastic. I have shot metal. I went to one, they, it was, they had like plastic bowling pins. You just light those up. I shot with metal and it's fucking insane. But ting! Bro. Is it like that? Like, like, like two, like... Uh, the fucking highest degree. It's like, and then I shot it. That was very good. Yeah. I was shooting a fucking World War II uh, M1. So I Who shot are you it. with? Ulysses S. Grant? I told you this. My father-in-law's friend. And after I shot the next round, the fucking mag popped out with the... Oh, I love that. Oh, dude. It was so sick. The snipers we shot were my favorite. I don't know about you. Just because Conk and the dunk. fucking I was the doing it like action? this was like and Joey goes under. I was, I was like, get like, underneath uh, it. Uh, uh. <laughs> Showed Becca that picture. She was like, uh oh, that picture is good. I was like, yeah, what's up? Yeah, I was just give me just give me my give me my flowers. That was a filthy shot with that sniper, bro. Frankie was disgusting with the sniper. <laughs> I hit one of the centers and I was like, I'm nice. 
And then Frankie gets on the sniper rifle and hit like five of them. What's up? Pang, 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 pang. Fucking. I that sucks because if we ever have a zombie apocalypse and you get to be on the top and I got to be on the bottom shooting with the handguns. You are a good handgun shot too. I know, but that's the thing. I don't want to be a handgun shot because those guys get eaten I first. I would never leave you alone at the bottom of that fucking building. We'd be up there together. But you got to snipe I would the get ones. So, but I'd have so much practice for the zombies. Like at that point, I'd be able to just go like, pounch. Like I just said, I just watched Django yesterday. There's a lot of handgun shooting there, and it's cool. It is pretty cool. Doing this and just you need to, winning? You, you know what you need to do after you eventually get sick of MLB The Show, which we are currently grinding? Yep. Get Red Dead. It, you will. It's too slow. No, 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 no. Trust me, dude. Because one minute you could be fucking, well, I don't know. And then the next minute you could be getting chased by a fucking giant bear. Don't do it. Tell me. <laughs> telling you. But yo, just doing this and bang! I so wanted to cool. shoot a 357 so bad, a Magnum, a fucking. I was honestly worried about that. Why? Because I that... wanted to fucking fuck up, chump. Because those have a lot of kick. Yeah, well, I'm not holding it like a fucking child. I'd be holding that shit. Like no, I'm... I know. I'm just saying. <laughs> Don't make me! <laughs> Don't you make me! Ah! <laughs> Screaming <laughs> Just dropped to the ground <laughs> Oh man Shooting guns though They were fun It's pretty funny They were really gun. really fun Does it make you feel differently? Do you want to own a gun? No <laughs> Honestly No I might I might one day own a A gun Yeah For God forbid protection 100% But also I have children in the home And like yeah. I would have to like I, I can't even think about the horrors that like and the anxiety that comes with something like that. Yeah. You can't leave the kids at home without being like, what the fuck? Well, the cool part is... There's no cool part. Here's the cool part. <laughs> There's a cool part. If you buy a gun, then you get to buy a really cool safe. I've thought about safes a lot. But like George Clooney and Brad Pitt are going to break into it, not your children. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what I'm saying? You never know who's doing the home invasion, you know? Yeah. But I like, just want to one day just come out of my room in my in a robe and boxers and just go. I have a gun. <laughs> That's all I want. I mean, yo, know, if I lived out like in the suburbs, which is the plan eventually to like live in a suburban area, I'd be so scared because I'm I've used to being around people. So if no one's around, I feel like oh, I'm so vulnerable, dude. So then I'd want to be like moving to moving to ah! where we are in Jersey took a bit of a like adjustment. Because living in New York, it's dark as piss. Not only dark as piss, but like living in New York, the darkness is nice. It's just silent sometimes. So yeah. any creak, nah. any drop, any siren, ruffle of the leaves, any, chill, bro. Anything is just like what the like the. Yeah. I, I kid you not. The first like maybe like two months in my house, I was freaked out. We had a security system and that helped, but like still, you know. And then you got like animals in the backyard and shit. So like. It, you could hear something in the backyard, and then it's just it's a fucking raccoon. Hell no! I would I would need a fully like uh, night vision cameras to be able to look. Because if I heard something and I'm looking, I want to see. Well, they you could your security systems like That's they right, have yeah. like night I, I, like I would I would need that. Q two, they supporting us this Q. Q. Oh, I don't know. I haven't seen them. All right, I'm not gonna say nothing. <laughs> then. Don't worry about it. I haven't seen. Them I'm not gonna say bit. dog shit about them unless they support us Q two. <laughs> <laughs> right, but I I would have to I have to be like yo I need to check all the fucking cameras, bro. Also, it'd be cool to have a room that has just cameras, like all the screens. Oh, you just have your phone now, brother. You don't need. I know, all that. but I know. You want to sit in front of a computer and just look at, just make sure the kids are asleep and just everything's up to date. Yeah, it's like you're Batman. I have one camera, and I don't actually think it's actually hooked up right now. <laughs> so it's good. So, don't rob me, please. Please, 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 because he does have a gun. Becca has a gun. Just want to throw Does she have there. a gun? Becca? Yeah. Yeah, she has a gun. Why does she have a gun? Her dad get, gifted it to her. What kind of gun is it? It's a handgun. <laughs> Holy shit. I swear. She's got a handgun. Becca has a handgun. Where is it? <laughs> I'm not confirming nor denying where it is. Yeah. But is I... Is it cool? Have you shot it? I have not shot it, no. Damn. I have not shot it. I mean, taking out squirrels. With That's why I, I, I tiptoe over our disagreements. It's like, just... Do, 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 do. Yeah. Because <laughs> she just be like... <laughs> no, she never would. Or just be like, we don't no, no, know, no. though. We don't know. We don't, we don't know. know someone until you know them. Do you, you know guys ever I mean? hear I blow my brains out? It's it's not me. It's not me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. She would never, ever, ever. Or it's like you're having an argument. And she, she like gets up to go to the bathroom or She's something. Like, Where are you going? Where are you going? 
I just hear ruffling and wherever. She's just, she goes to leave the room. God! <laughs> to the ground. Kids, get down! Oh, that would be funny. Uh, is that cool no, to joke no, about? No, no, Probably no, no, not, not but it's okay. You know, it's about my wife. I can do what I want. Right. I didn't know that she had a gun. That's pretty cool. You really didn't know that? No. How am I going to... She's gonna... a filthy shot. Do you remember... You guys went to the range together? No, but her dad has brought her several times. Oh, okay. The last time... Do you remember when we went to homecoming at New Haven in 2018? Yes. I called and he... She was at... I called Becca to say hi. She was at the gun range with her dad. And I didn't realize she was sitting next to her dad. I was like, you're so fucking hot. You fucking... I was also a little drunk. What's up? How you doing? <laughs> What's up? What's did you say on? anything like you I was to, just like you're so fucking hot? I'm but you don't so, have to say what you said. But did you? Say I said something? something that was not her dad should hear. But not like wild. Not like I'm gonna fucking this that and the other. But oh, like, like I'm gonna. But something like you're fucking sweet ass or something like that. But like, okay, okay. Border like it was more than you're hot. More, more. Than, more. <laughs> and then her dad just leans in. He's like, uh, uh, yeah, that's uh, what the guys at the gun range might have been thinking. And I was like, fuck, hi, Bob. It's all right. Were they in a car or something? They were like sitting and eating. It's all good. What's up? The world. I want the world to know. Oh, your sweet ass. Smoke show of a wife. He just leans into the fucking. He's a good sport. Hey. He's a good sport. The fuck? Yeah, he's a good, he's a good guy. Did you have. No, you didn't have kids then. No. When did you have your first well, child? Well, Miles, but. You yeah, know, yeah. When, did you, when, is, when was that? Ruby was born January of 21. All right. Right after you got back from D.C. <laughs> Which we will be at. We were. We when are we being there? <laughs> On June twenty second. June twenty second. Anthem Theater. Frank, go run through them again. Run through them again. Guys, by the way, you go, before he gets to those dates, today is April first. When you're watching this, April second, tomorrow, Tuesday, ten a.m. All Eastern, of these tickets. Eastern, ten a.m. Eastern. Ten a.m. Eastern. All these tickets are going on sale. Okay. Ten a.m. Use the code basement so you can buy the tickets. Buy them. Listen, and I don't know where you might be in the world, but. Just look up where it is in New York, the time it is in New York, wherever you are, adjust. We don't want you to miss these pre-sale Eastern, tickets. East, people know what time zones are. It's okay. No, but I don't know if they call it something else over in fucking, you know. No, it's wherever. Eastern. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm here for. You, you time zone guy. You can't wear a white hooded sweatshirt, say how much you've watched Django, and put your hand up like that, that aggressively, okay? I went straight up in the air. Mm, no, you kind of... Yes, you kinda, I did. kind of took the No, the long, I did not. You took the long way home. No, I did not. Take the long way home. That's, That's a good, good song. song. <laughs> Tuesday, April 2nd, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Go use the code BASEMENT to secure your pre-sale tickets before they go on sale to the general public, and general public sale is on April 5th. Now, here are the shows for the Basement Yard Experience. Here are... <laughs> here are the shows for the 2024 Basement Yard Exp <laughs> One more time. I got yeah. this. No, we'll be here all day if you want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> here are the shows for the 2024 Basement Yard Experience. May 17th, Philadelphia at the Met. Yeah! June 14th, Denver, Colorado at the Paramount. Yeah! June 22nd, Washington, D.C., the Anthem. Huh? July 11th, Atlanta, Georgia. What? The Roxy. July 12th, the next day, quick turnaround, Nashville. How you do, skis? Ooh. James K. Polk Theater. July 18th, uh, yeah, the Bears. Ah. Chicago, the Chicago Theater. August 1st, not sure the theater, but Los Angeles. Ha <laughs> ha. August 3rd, quick little turny, turnsy, turnsies. More theater in Seattle, Washington. Yeah! August 17th. Hey, we love you, Canada. And we, maybe you'll love us. Guess what? Toronto, Meridian Hall. And, and if you have us, would you kindly buy those tickets? Maybe we'll do too. You never know. You <laughs> fucking never know. You don't know. We don't know. Please help do it. September 18th. Dallas, Texas. The Majestic Theater. September 19th. Houston, Texas. Bayou Music Theater. September 22nd. Austin, Texas. Do, 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 do. The Paramount Theater, and then ending the Basement Yard Experience. We're not telling you where. We're not telling We're you not when. We're not telling you when yet. We will tell you, though. New York City. New York City. You want me to tell you? If you guys... New York City. Get sell, sell out the tour, and then we'll tell you. We're to do that. <laughs> We're going to tell you before that anyway. But mm -hmm. <laughs> if you do sell it out, I'll tell you immediately. But if it takes some time, it's okay. We have a date that we're going to tell you anyway. Yeah, yeah. So All right? One of those things will come first. We won't tell you which one. 
Right. Well, maybe we probably would have to tell them which one. Yeah. That's all right. But go check it out. You can also find all that information on thebasementyard.com, including information to our merch and our Patreon. We thank you guys so much for making this possible. This yeah. is wild. Absolutely wild. We're not plugging shit. Go to thebasementyard.com, right? Well, not, not right now. But go to thebasementyard.com. Tomorrow, 10 a.m., April 2nd, 10 a.m., use the code BASEMENT, buy those tickets. We'll see you guys out there. Fuck yeah! Hold on. Are you making a hat? I'm, I'm, no, I'm going to make a... I'm going to make a... Is this not a flamingo or one of those... Is this origami that you're... It was going to be a football. Got dude. it. It was going to... Not good. <laughs> yeah, all right. See you guys out there. Bye-bye. <laughs>